I could be in the Final Four and yeah, maybe if you win the championship, it changes a little bit. But um, no, my grades are great on the season. Um, our season's been the best. You mentioned you could have been better in the round of eight, or, or you weren't good enough. What, what do you feel like you could have done better? I don't think that we really could have done anything better. We we had um, you know, the, at Vegas. You know, we had the debris get our nose. Um, so we lost out on stage points. We had the hiccup on pit road. Um, so yeah, you could have done better there on that side of things but then homestead you know we had the flat tire and, and overcame that really well and had a shot to win still um and, and yeah so i thought we did we fought like really hard i, I felt like the way the vegas went and especially the way homestead was going we shouldn't even had a shot on points in martinsville and, and we did so yeah i thought our team really all playoffs long like we had to fight you know we didn't start any round um, good so um yeah, and still, you know, just came up a few points short. So, as a former champion yourself, what kind of advice have you given to Byron? I know obviously he's been here before, but is just any words of advice as far as actually getting to winning that championship? Uh, I'm not the type of person that, like, gives out sophisticated, you know, wisdom. So, uh, he's an adult. He's he's a professional, and he does an extremely good job at driving a race car, and um, this is a great track for him. So, you know, he, he's, he's going to be just fine. Space, you're saying he already knows what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just another race. So yeah, Kyle in the off season, how much dirt racing do you think you'll be doing, and any chance to be back at Chili Bowl? Uh, I'll do a handful of handful of races for sure. Um, still trying to figure out all my plans, but um, yeah, I've got some midget races come up in in the you know, here in the next few weeks, and then I'll go to Australia. That's my for sure races I'm doing right now. There were people saying on Twitter that maybe Byron or Bell wouldn't be in, and then maybe put you in. Did you see any of that on social media or anything at all this week? Uh, I recently deleted Twitter <laughs> a few weeks ago, so no, I've been okay, kinda, I did not know. I, I've been in the dark on a lot of stuff. So um, no, I mean I that would have been weird. You know, I that would have been weird. I don't I don't see a reason why I should be. In. <laughs> you know, I, that would have been that would have been a bit odd. <laughs> what did you think Twitter? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, how to be a part of Hendrick's 40th anniversary season? Um, yeah, no, it's been a great year. Um, obviously, we'd love to, to uh, close it out with William winning the championship. I think it would cap off a memorable year, which has already been a memorable year, you know, with um, you know, winning the 500 for them and um, Rick Guard for our team, having William win on the 40th, you know anniversary date there at Martinsville um, so yeah you know, if, if he could win a championship it would be amazing so we're all pulling for him and you know hopefully we can get it done and uh, we can all celebrate next week there has there has been some talk this week about you know possibly you know amending the playoffs in some way do you feel like there should be like at least some changes or fixes to the format or do you feel it's fine the way it is um no I, I definitely think it's I think with the, the new style car it could use some tweaking um, I don't know what that is, though. So I'm sure they're going to look at it. I'm sure they're going to take in advice from everybody within the sport and probably the fans as well. So I don't know if that means a change would come next year or, or when. But um, yeah, I think I think just our our, our cars are so close now that um, I think they should look at you know doing something a little bit different. You know, I don't think it needs to be drastically different but uh yeah i think small tweaks could help thank you you mentioned some of the off season racing anything planned vado speed away in new mexico no not doing that this year yeah. i'll be in australia uh well i guess over new year and then i just have a lot going on so i've done it the last couple of years i've had fun but uh yeah i just ready to do something different any plans out here in the valley racing just in general uh yeah well i mean yeah we'll be here um but we, between vacations and racing and stuff, um, really won't be here as much as I did the last couple years. So, just a uh, bummer, but uh, I'll be having fun doing other stuff. Thank you, Kyle. You talked about being really busy off season, and High Limit's been a big part of that. What's it, you know, the focus getting Central Arizona Speedway out on the schedule to get a stop here in Arizona? Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, Arizona's was once a really healthy you know area for dirt track racing and has since you know seen a lot of tracks shut down and, and all that so yeah hopefully with a, a national series stopping in here you know the fans will show up to support it and, and we'll get some other you know, local teams and drivers to come support it and 